around seven or eight years old, and she adored him. Absolutely adored him. And he was mean as fire to the assistant. Just absolutely mean as fire to her. And would say all kinds of stuff and, and, and mean to her and would push her away. And it, it became a real issue. I mean, this was not just silly rivalry. This became a real issue to where he was almost cursing her. And so the family, the parents came to me and said, Pastor, this has this just become a, a real issue in our home. Uh, could, you, could you talk to him? Could you just bring him in and talk to him and, and, and let him know that, that he is literally the parent and sister of him? So he came into my office one day and I had a, I had a piece of soap in my hand. And, and I said, listen, he said, said, this piece of soap in your hand is your sister. She idolized it. You have an opportunity to whittle into her life whatever you want her to be. Right now, you just kind of take a hacksaw on this, whack it away at her life. But you can mold and shape her because of her love and affection for you. You can literally mold her and shape her into being something that's proud. You have that opportunity in your life. And he sat there and he looked at that and he looked at the soap and he said, you know what, he said, I can do that. I can make a difference. I can impact her life in a positive way. And he did. So over the next several months, you could just see their relationship beginning to get stronger and stronger. And, and he began to include her in things and begin to take her places. And, and before you knew it, they were a absolutely positive brother and sister relationship all because he realized now that I'm beginning so little into her life what I want her to be. Guys, it's the same way in our relationships with one another. A lot of times we create the issues that are going on with our spouses and our children. We create that. If we begin to, to, to pour into the positive and we begin to build up if we begin to say to our spouses every once in a while, you are the most gorgeous woman in the world. We begin to, we begin to say to our husbands, you know, there's no one else like you. I love you. I thank God for you. We begin to speak those types of things into our life. You know what's going to happen? Is that, that division that has begun to come into the relationship is going to begin to close up. And you're going to get closer and closer and closer to one another. And you're going to begin to feel and sense harmony in the house. Harmony, he's love, he's babies. Let's nurture them up in that love and in that peace and in that little atmosphere. It'll make a difference in their lives. Throw someone by the hand real quick. We're going to pray.